first of all, record companies hated it because they weren't getting the revenue. And anything that was away from the norm was very un unhealthy, the managers would say, and the record companies would say. You shouldn't be doing that, they would say. And the more they said it, the more I wanted to do it. <laughs> so, so it's cool, you know. I just wanted to go on. It's like uh, in the middle of the 70s, I got a, approached to do a, a piece of music for the Scottish Ballet along with Ian Anderson. And I said, yes. Did my manager come to see it at Sadler's Wells? No. Because he was the manager of Yes. What's he, what's he want to come and see what I'm doing for? Forgetting that I'm part of the band, you know. So in, fun, in some ways, your survival is up to yourself and not up to anybody else out there at all. So what you do and what you go for, um, as, long as, as long as you're pushed by music, you'll be okay. Um, John Kolodner, who was Geffen's A&R guy, said to me, listen, we really want you to join this band. Um, with with this music you've written. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I really want to do a solo album. And they said, look, you have to join this band or we, basically or we're going to drop you. Was, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but that's yeah. kind of what happened. Um, and uh, my manager said, you know, you, you should go and do this. Just you at least go through the motions. And so, yes, I, I went to London and spent a day, a um, day or two maybe, I can't remember, uh, playing, it was pretty forgettable at the time, but played, uh, I remember we played Heat of the Moment and we played a couple of my songs. So who was actually, yeah. was, who was actually in Asia at that point? Was Jeff Downs and Steve Howe in the lineup at that point? Yeah, at that point, that's exactly what it was. And it's funny, because when, when John Kolodna said to me, Steve Howe's now in the, in the mix, I said, well, then you, what do you need me for? You've got a guitarist. He said, oh, you could work together. And I said, no, our styles are so completely different. It wouldn't work. And it's, I, you know, I'm sure it's not something he desires and certainly not something I desire. Chris actually uh, recommended Tony Kay because he thought um, someone like Rick Wakeman and I wouldn't get on because, we, you know, pretty headstrong and mm -hmm. the music ideas. And, and Tony's, a, you know, a, a very good guy to go, you know, one of the boys kind of thing. So... Uh, which is ironic, because it turns out that Rick and I about as uh, uh, enjoy playing together about as much as anything. Yeah. So it's weird. So I mean, in in, in actual fact, due to one person thinking that Chris thinking that you wouldn't have got on, it, Rick could well well have been a member of Yes for nine oh one two five. Oh, very much so. Yeah. I mean, because it is quite peculiar. Because on I landed up. Uh, Trevor Horn and Tony Kay didn't get on very well. Um, and uh, I, I remember coming to the studio one day, and there was and Tony Kay wasn't there. And uh, I said, well, where's Tony? And he said, oh, he's gone home. And Trevor Horn said, I need to have a talk with you. And I remember we were in the East End, and we went and we walked through a, a cemetery, an old cemetery. And uh, Trevor Horn said to me, uh, how do you feel about playing keyboards on the album? And Catherine of Aragon um, had... Uh a different title initially when it was first recorded. Um, it was it was called Handle with Care, and now there's a reason for that. It was always Catherine of Aragon, but it was called Handle with Care because I had to do the album over a, a period of about a year because I was working with Yes. And at that particular time, believe it or not, there were a lot of tapes being stolen from studios, and I recorded that one at Trident Studios. And they said to me that, okay. Um, what's the track? I said, Catherine American. They said, no, 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 to put on the box. And I said, what do, you, what do you mean to put on the box? And they said, well, we always put ridiculous things on the boxes because we've had a lot of burglaries of stuff being nicked and they'll look for names and faces and things. And they said, they know, we, people know you're doing the Six Wires album and, and because there was a lot of bootlegging going on, especially in Holland. So stuff would suddenly appear out there. And... Uh, so we, the first album I'd done with Yes was the Fragile album. So from Fragile came Oh Handle with Care, and it was down on the box as Handle with Care uh, from the Joe Loss Orchestra. Because I thought no one's going to nick that, and they didn't. 